Senator Moran. Chairman, thank you very much. Administrator, thank you for your presence and your efforts. Um, your, you, your testimony, uh, which I think I wrote down, uh, perhaps as you said it, but close to what you said, capping production expansion of new Boeing 737 MAX airplanes to ensure accountability and full compliance with required quality control measures. Is, is Boeing operating under that cap now, or I'm trying, I'm confused, I've followed this as best I know how, or does Boeing have its own cap that is actually lower than the cap that is placed on them by FAA? They are, they are, they are operating at below that, that cap. So what standard are they use, utilizing to make a, determine about, a determination about when they can increase production? Well, we've had a direct conversation with, with them about that. So these five KPI metrics are in place now. We are monitoring those. And we're monitoring the deployment of the steps in this plan. The, the plan is not uh, merely a theoretical plan for the future. It's actually being implemented in real time. So uh, a lot of the work that used to travel from Wichita to Renton is now done in Wichita. Those changes, Wichita, those changes have already taken place. They're, they're deploying tool management and, and part management procedures. So we're monitoring that as well. And we will continue to monitor that as they start to ramp up production um, and make sure that those metrics stay in the green as that happens. Are you, would, you would be informed, FAA would be informed if there was an intention of increasing, ramping up production, is that true? We, we would, and we actually issue the airworthiness certificates, so we have direct oversight of that. And is there an intention on the part of Boeing to increase that production at this point? They have not discussed with us a specific intent to increase, but the expectation is they will start to increase back toward that cap uh, as, as time goes on. Um, I'm gonna go to as time goes on. Um, can, can you, in any uh, uh, realistic way, uh, tell me what the path is to returning to levels of production that are consistent with the market demand for that aircraft? I'm looking for, is there a month-by-month -month expectation of how Boeing returns to production levels to meet the demand of, of, the, of their customers? There is, there is not, and that has not been part of our discussions. Our discussions have been focused around making sure these safety metrics are in place, understanding that as they, as they reach those metrics and, and strengthen their quality programs, they will begin to increase production. Uh, but we haven't had specific conversations about timeline. And is there anything that, uh, we're having this discussion about Boeing, is there anything that uh, you would tell me about Spirit and uh, what's occurring there? Any additional concerns or greater concerns, or are they doing what is expected to be in a position to, to uh, take advantage of the circumstance when Boeing returns to additional production? We, we have uh, we've visited Spirit uh, and we have inspectors at Spirit. I think Spirit was the focus because they manufactured the fuselage. And one of the early problems identified that was associated with the plug door was having the fuselage leave Wichita with, with errors that needed to be corrected later in Renton. So that, that process has changed. Uh, Boeing has sent their inspectors to Wichita to make sure the fuselage is without significant errors before they ship. So that's, that's been a major rework of the, of the process. Uh, that's largely been completed. You uh, met with, I have a date here. I, I think all of the date is probably irrelevant. You met with employees at Renton, yes. Boeing employees at Renton, visited with them. I did the same thing in Wichita at Spirit uh, a, couple, a couple of weeks ago. What, what was your take? What did you learn from the employees about where they think they are and where they're going and what needs to be done? So the visit to Renton was very early in this process and the feedback uh, from the frontline employees was very similar to the feedback from the 103 panel and very similar to the feedback from our audit, which was the focus had been on production and uh, that was the driving factor and the driving force in that, in that, in that shop. Uh, so this has really been about changing that dynamic and having safety be the driving force. Almost every week I'm told next Monday there's going to be an announcement of the merger or acquisition of Boeing, uh, of Spirit by Boeing. Uh, are you involved in any way in that discussion? I'm not involved in that discussion. My only conversations with uh, uh, Dave Calhoun have, have been about 
making sure Boeing is exercising its control over its key suppliers to make sure they're pushing down quality management programs, SMS, to make sure those, those, those parts are coming in as, a, as they need to, uh, but I'm agnostic on how they do that, whether it's through acquisition or, or contractual. So you're looking for the result, the, the safety uh, requirements being met and have no, uh, at least public, or maybe not even any personal opinion as to whether reacquiring spirit lends itself toward a safer man, uh, manufacturing process? That's correct. Okay. Thank you, Chairwoman. Thank you, Senator Moran. Thank you for um, your leadership 